All right, number one, there is a strumming pattern that's going on here. So if you haven't noticed, we're going down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. And then the fourth bar is just totally different. So if you know, if you realize things like that, it can make getting these things down a little bit easier. Here we go. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Tend to the grab because I got like all these new ones here. Look at that thing. I'm trying to get it focused. Yeah, like really high raised grip. I mean, yeah, once you got it there, like you ain't gonna lose it. Problem is, you can't really make many or any just adjustments at all once you're holding the thing. Anyway, number two. The two across three polyrhythm. So yeah, you got your two chords evenly spaced across three beats. Here we go, 60 beats per minute. Keep that hand moving. One, two, three, four, one. takes that polyrhythm and keeps it going. So two chords evenly spaced across one, two, three beats. Three chords, or two chords across three beats. Again, two chords across three beats. Two chords across three beats. So everything is a beat and a half until we get here. So you basically, you hit the chord, you miss two strums, and then you hit it again, you miss two strums. So hit, miss it, miss it, hit, miss it, miss it, hit, miss it, miss it, hit, miss it, miss it. So that's another pattern, strum pattern going on. So if you know that, it could very well help make this easier. Here we go, 60. Get that right. Right now. 
Anyway, here we go. One, two, three, four, of those scales you're almost done so yeah whenever you get the theory stuff finished just send me i guess the link to the google docs or yeah do that just let me know it's done and any questions come up let me know all right see you see you again next week <laughs>